today I'm going to show you how to attach walls to a ramp in Revit. Uh, it's a bit unconventional the way we're going to do it, but I know it works, uh, as opposed to some of the methods that you just can't get it to work no matter what you do. Um, let's go ahead and start a new document. I'm going to bring it to architectural template. Hit OK. Alright, so now you know it's a blank document. I'm going to try to set it up the way most people would do it by creating a ramp. We'll do a standard 30 foot ramp. Press the green finish edit mode. I'll delete the railings just so that they don't become a nuisance later on. Alright, so here we have our basic ramp. There it is with the default slope that Revit gives us. Now I'm going to create a wall to go up that ramp because essentially that's what we want. I'll create it. I'll change it to four inch thick uh, brick just so that it's thinner. I'm going to move it off to the side here. And then I'm going to hit AL on my keyboard. That'll align tool. It's uh, Let me escape out of here and I'll show you where it is. Select that. Align tool is this one up here select that select this line and this line and now you will see that it is on the same plane the exterior of the wall is on the same plane as the edge of the ramp so from front view what you could do is attach top to base and try to select the ramp but it won't let you so what you can do is uh, select the wall, hit edit profile, and change the profile, hit remove constraints, adjust your lines, and hit the green check mark. That works really well for some, um, but for those of you uh, who are using floors as ramps, which I highly recommend, uh, you can do it even easier than that if it's just a basic ramp. So let's go ahead and delete all of this. Go back to your level one view. Zoom out a bit. All right, now let's create a floor into a ramp. So we're going to go architecture. I'm going to go floor, architectural, rectangle tool up here. Let's make it. Uh, 12 foot wide by 96. That looks like it'll do. Alright, now if you go to a 3D view, you'll see that that's just your basic floor. It's nice and flat. It's definitely not a ramp. And we're going to make it a ramp though. Go back to your level 1. Select your ramp or your floor. Go up here to modify sub elements. And now you'll get these four points at uh, any intersection. So you'll see that zero zero, zero zero, zero zero, zero zero. They're all at zero zero, which means that there is absolutely no sloping. However, if we change the sloping, let's change it to forty. Uh, let me get Jurassic sixty feet. Okay, close on. Change this one to sixty feet. Hit escape a couple of times. And now this is shrunken because this is where your uh, view range is. If you if you change your view range in the cut plane over here on your left, if you change that to 60 feet, oops, you gotta change your top plane too. Let's change that to 90. Hit apply. You can see your whole ramp again. Now go to the 3D view, and you'll see that you clearly have a slope now. So now let's try to add a floor or uh, add a wall to it. Go to WA on your keyboard or go to architecture wall, wall architectural. Uh, select this corner and just drag it over to make sure you get the right size. Again, I'm going to move it down off to the bottom so I can align it properly. I want to align the edge of this uh, floor with the ed uh, exterior edge of this uh, wall here. So I'm going to hit AL on my keyboard or select the floor and then select align tool, select this edge and select this edge 
and what you will see is that they are now both on the same edge of uh, or same work plane basically and you can change the height of this wall by selecting it here and dragging it up if you please obviously this ramp is very unrealistic it'll never happen but it, I'm doing it drastic so that you can understand uh, or see the change I should say again you can do the same thing that we did the first time around by going to edit profile and changing the angle of this bottom edge of the wall and hitting remove constraints and that'll do just fine you have a wall with the with the ramp or let me undo that what you can do here that you couldn't previously do when you were using the ramp tool is selecting the wall attach top to base and then selecting the ramp and now you only have uh, the bottom portion of that ramp or of that wall sorry so when you created it with the ramp tool you couldn't do this by just selecting attach top base uh, but because the wall is being now hosted by the floor it's a little bit different if you hit undo again you can also just edit the profile for the bottom one but personally I think it becomes you know it becomes like a two three four step process as opposed to just you know two clicks and it's done um, and you know it'll be on point instead of having to deal with all these shenanigans um, which quite frankly I'm not even going to bother with uh, so yeah if you're going to be using your your floor as a ramp uh, attach uh, top base is definitely the way to go it's definitely the fastest way it's the easiest way and you're less likely to have any issues later on uh, if you have any questions or comments let me know in the area below thank you thanks for checking out another one of my videos here at FMP Toots uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you found it very useful uh, the main mission here at FMP Toots is to sh simply share the knowledge of uh, Revit, SketchUp, iMovie, and other software out there that uh, people might just have simple questions with or have, you know, a bit more complicated of a question. Uh, I really try to target as big of an audience as possible. Um, if you find that the tutorials are helpful to you and you think that they might, you know, you might have a colleague who's struggling, feel free to pass on the link. All you have to do is go to the top of the page, uh, press Control c on your Windows or Command-C on your Mac, and then paste that link in an email, uh, on a Facebook message, even through YouTube. It's pretty simple. Um, if you'd like to continue seeing my videos, um, go ahead and like or subscribe to the page. This way you can get reoccurring updates saying that I updated or I uploaded another video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, hit me in the discussion area or email me at slkr2016 at gmail.com. Uh, have yourself a great day. Thank you.